If you can, please print out the PDF file on the description below so you can work with me. So we all know that angle sum of a triangle is 180 degrees, right? So all these angle here is add up to 180 degree. So what about quadrilateral? So the sum of interior angles of quadrilateral is, that is correct, 360 degrees. Now, if I draw a diagonal of this, so become two triangles, so this is this angle here, this angle, this angle add up to 180 degrees because angle sum of a triangle is 180 degrees. So this one here, this angle, this angle also add up to 180 degrees. So therefore, we have 360 degrees altogether. So in another word, these angles here add up to 360. So that is 180 degrees times 2. So we all know some angle of a triangle is 180 degrees, quadrilateral is 360 degrees. How about a pentagon? So let's work it out. What is the sum angles of a pentagon? So first of all, so let me connect this angle to this and then this angle here to this. So now we have three triangles. So this angle at this angle at this angle is 180 degrees, right? Some angle of triangles is 180. So at this one, this one, this one here, we add up 180 degrees as well. And then this angle here, this angle, angle, add up to 180 degrees. So therefore, the sum angles of a pentagon is 180 times 3, or 540 degrees if you like. Okay, let's have a look at some um, hexagon. So first of all, same process, if I connect from this to this corner here and connect from this corner to this and then from this angle to this angle here. Now we have one, two, three, four triangles. So we know that each triangle, okay, the sum of interior angle is 180 degrees and 180 here, 180 here and 180 here. So therefore, the sum angles of a hexagon is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 triangles, so 180 times 4. So this is the sum of interior angles of a hexagon. Now, what about this one here? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So what is the sum angles of this heptagon? So same process, if I connect from this angle, to this angle, I cut into triangles, okay? So from here to here, from here to this angle, and from this angle to this angle. So we have one, two, three, four, five triangles. So therefore, the sum of the interior angle S is equal to 180 degrees times five. There you go. So this is the sum angles of a heptagon. So therefore, let's summarize what we find, okay? So first of all, we know that the angle sum of a triangle is 180 degrees. Number of sides of triangle is three, right? And then um, the angle sum is 180 times one, because 180 degrees is 180 times one. So for quadrilateral, so we have four sides, and the angle sum is 180 times two. So for a pentagon, so which is five sides, so the angle sum is 180 times three. Similarly, with the um, hexagon, so we have six sides, the interior angle sum is 180 times four. And seven sides, so it's 180 degrees times five. Now, you should see the pattern, right? So what happened if it's n size? So n size for n size, so the angle sum, so S should give me 180 degrees times by. Now you can see if it's 3, we times 1. If it's 4, you times 2. So if it's 5, we times 3. And if it's 6, we times 4. 
So follow this pattern, we should recognize this. So some angle of a polygon is 180 times by number of side less 2. Or it can be written as n minus 2 times 180 degrees. Doesn't matter how you write it. Okay. All right. Let's do some examples. Find the angle sum of a polygon with a size. So a size. So we know that n is equal to 8. So, so find the interior angle. The sum of interior angle s equal. We know that is n minus 2 times 180 degrees. So therefore n is 8. So 8 minus 2 is 6. Otherwise I just write this down like this. And time by 180 degrees. So the angle sum is equal to 1080 degrees. Please stop the video and I want you to try this one yourself. So first of all, the rule is S equal N number of size less 2 and then times by 180 degrees. So which is 11 minus 2 is 9. So then you just times by 180 if you like. So which equal to 1620 degrees. Find the value of x on the following polygons. So first one here. So we need to count how many sides is this polygon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sides. So step number 1. We need to find the angle sum of this polygon first. So as the sum of interior angle is n less 2 times 180 degrees. So now 6 sides, right? 6 minus 2 is 4. So 4 times 180. So that's give me 720 degrees. So now we know that this angle at this angle at this angle as at this angle at this at this is equal to 720. So what I do, I just add them up first. Okay. So I just go 150 plus 160 plus 140 and 140, so 280 is equal to 590. So in another word, 720 is equal to 1x plus 2x is 3x at 590. So now I just move this on the side, so become minus. So 720 minus 590 is 130. So which is equal to 3x. So I divide by 3, divide by 3. So therefore, x is equal to 3 go to 13 is 4 times. So remainder 1. 3 go to 10 is 3 times and remainder 1. So x is 43 and 1 third. Now, please stop the video and try this one yourself. So first of all, we need to find the angle sum of these polygons first. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 sides. So 7 sides. So first of all, we know that S, the sum of interior angle of the polygon, is n minus 2 times 180 degrees and 7 sides so 7 minus 2 is 5 so we just do 5 times 180 and which equal to 900 degrees so now we know that all these angles add up to 900 degrees so now I can just write 3x plus 2x is 5x at another 5x is 10x. So I just write this down. 10x plus all these angles. Okay, so this angle, this angle, this and this. So now I just start from 160 degrees. So 160 
plus 135 plus 120 plus 130 so which equal to 545 so we add 5 4 5 is equal to 900 degrees so I move the 545 out this side so that becomes 900 minus 545 so what I do I just go 900 minus the answer so 355 10x equal 355 so therefore x equal I divide by 10 on both sides so the x is 35.5 next one so first of all we know that s the sum of interior angle of a polygon is n minus 2 times by 180 degrees so we know that s is 1080 degrees is equal to n minus 2 times 180 degrees so what I do now I just get rid of this 180 so I divide by 180 degrees divide by 180 degrees so this cancel out so which give me 6 so that is n minus 2 so now I move these two on this side so which is 6 plus 2 it become 8 so therefore n is equal to 8 second one so we know that the sum of interior angle of a polygon is is 5040 degrees so first of all the rule is s equal n minus 2 times 180 degrees so s is 5040 is equal to n minus 2 times 180 so what we do now we divide by 180 we divide this by 180 so this cancel out which give me 28 so which equal to n minus 2 so I move these negative 2 on this side become plus so therefore n is equal to 30 please stop the video and try this one yourself so first of all we know that the sum of the interior angle is 2160 degrees so write out the rule first s equal n minus 2 times 180 degrees so now 2160 is equal to n minus 2 times 180 degrees so i divide this by 180 i divide this by 180 so that cancel out this will give me 12 so which is n minus 2 so i move this two on the side so which is so 12 plus 2 is 14 so therefore n is equal to 14 second one so we know the rule is the sum of interior angles of a polygon is n minus 2 times by 180 degrees so now the sum is 3420 which equal to n minus 2 and you times by 180 so now I divide this by 180 I divide this by 180 which equal to 19 so that is n minus 2 so what we do we move this on the side it become plus so 19 plus 2 is 21 so therefore n is equal to 21 Thank you so much for watching.